Hi guys, it's Aswa again and today I'm going to do a review but not a movie review but a game review on the game um, Watch Dogs 2 um, Man, I've been playing this game uh, for quite a long time and I think I put more hours in this game than I put in the other games like the 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 battlefield the uh, call of duty this is a really fun and enjoyable game i want to stress on the word fun uh, this is so much fun and i've been i've been playing in increments because there's so many things to do so many things to do it's not like a chore it's actually up to you whether you want to do them or not uh, there is the game has a main mission and side missions and there's a lot so many things to do yeah so i'm enjoying myself so let me tell you a bit about the game the game uh watch dog 2 is about a group of hackers uh in san francisco and you're you're uh, you are the the hero is uh an african-american guy hipster hacker and he tries to go against the bloom which control the city os which is hacking everybody and that's the that's the the, the core of the story and um, it's just a sequel but to be honest in terms of tone in terms of seriousness uh, this is so much better than part one but it's less serious part one is so serious so ultra serious so dark so depressing um even though i played quite a bit but the serious story really i gave up in i gave up really made me give up in the story because the story was so serious it take it, it took itself too seriously and i found myself down getting down because the the atmosphere was dark the storyline is dark nothing to make you smile or happy or whatnot uh so yeah that's my re that's also a start of it, my review of watch Dog one so this is a, a better and improvement in terms of story the story is much better um you have these wonderful characters this this uh cute 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 hipster characters at first i thought i would hate them but after playing through them i really like the characters uh they are not uh annoying uh, I I was afraid they would be annoying, but they were not. They are just silly guys, silly silly girls, and having fun in the in this big beautiful city. So, in terms of storyline, super improving improvement. In terms of in terms of mission, super improve improvement. So much mission, so much things to do. Um, there are upgrades. There are things that I like. That 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 they that they don't have in part one, but they have in part two. In I watch dot one, I watch dot two. What they have the the things that I love the most is uh, the drones. You get to control. You get to buy, and you have to buy two drones, which is the the ground drones and also the airborne drones, which really help. You can you can solve missions without getting out of your car. You can solve missions just by the drone alone cause chaos and stuff like that so uh, in that that part i really enjoyed they have that drones and the other part that i really really love is um or you can call backup in terms of you can call uh gangs to do missions for you i mean gangs to kill someone for you or you can hire and you can call cops to bust up some rowdy people so you got those two giant things i think what i for me is the load of fun because you got to control you can i have finished missions without actually going on the ground and shooting anybody i played stealth all the while and without killing anybody and just i i killed through i just call the gangs and the gangs hang up so gangs versus gang or police versus gang so i don't have to do anything so i like that kind of aspect of the freedom and uh, 
those extra bits and yeah i really enjoyed that i also enjoyed that you have to do you can do uber you can do side mission that you don't have part one which is fun uber you can uber is fun taking pictures is fun now you are not doing all this mission just for for having fun but when you do this mission you get um you do the side mission you get uh experience point and experience point can upgrade your weapons upgrade your skills and whatnot um in terms of weapons i find myself you don't have to play using weapons you can play all the way you can play stealth you know and i like that a lot because in the first game there's a lot of missions that you need to do this weapon and i hate that and you need to buy you need to save to just to buy upgrade and buy weapons and stuff like that this game i so far i played you don't have to you know i mean i really enjoy it because you got i got the cops and the gang so i upgraded them all the way up so really really fun and and uh, exciting and the, the length of the game is you know it's huge it's open world and you, i can play without you know i can play on my own pace yeah i mean it's really fun again i think we're entering the word fun um but there are bad things about the game that the games there are negative things about the game and the negative things about the game that i need to mention is the driving somehow the driving part in this game is worse than part one because in part one in watch dot one when you drive there's a bit you feel a bit of weight in all the vehicles in different vehicles you feel the different acceleration different uh, smoothness on driving and whatnot it depends on the car so if you drive a sports car you of course will drive fast and you know if you drive a, a drive a, a, a small short you feel nimble so there is you can feel the variety in the driving in part one in part two you don't feel except for the speed but you don't feel any difference between any of the vehicles because they all drive super fast super slippery you don't feel the speed of it you don't feel the weight of the car you don't feel it so the driving experience in part one was superb this one if the part one i give it uh 9.5 this i give it an 8 or 7 because it really is there is some sort of slowness to it or a bit weird in handling the driving it's either too slippery too fast too easy i mean yeah it's too responsive or something i don't know what what went wrong but i prefer driving in part one so that's one of the weakness uh the second weakness oh there's a lot less people in the city when the part one when i play it you there's a lot more people around and i really remember there's a lot more people around the game but this one you don't feel so much uh, uh the city feels a bit more sparse not many people um and that's the biggest two complaints that i keep seeing uh, the third one of course is the boring repetitious level but they keep saying that so there are levels that you don't have to play but there are levels that the most annoying like, i have to say the most annoying and one the okay, there are two right you have to the other the the annoying things about the game is the puzzle some so like you have this huge open world puzzle like the first game that you have it which is just annoying now they have it in open world it's not virtual reality anymore where you have to need to turn the uh, the knobs to move around so that was a problem but uh, that was a problem in part one now it become bigger problem in part two because it's so extensive um, yeah that is the that is the biggest biggest nitpick the three of them is the biggest nitpick of the game but overall the game is really fun the really enjoyable to play and you get to explore all parts of um, San Francisco is a beautiful city the graphic has improved I did not experience any lagging uh, in terms of frame rate drops or whatnot um, yeah in terms of a score if I need to give a score I would give this game I definitely 9.5 above because it is such a good game uh, an improvement above 
above all the previous one the watchdog one and it's so much better yeah that's my review for watchdogs uh, 2 and hopefully you enjoyed my review and thank you for watching guys peace